How would you describe dating at U of C? Uh, which faculties do you think is the most promiscuous? Yeah, edge boys just don't date edge people. As a U of C student, I want someone that's also educated. Hello, love. It's your boy, Zach. And Kate, do you want to say hi to the people? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Kate, you busted out the accent too. That was good, that, hey? That's kind of good. I've busted it. Zach, I'll give yours a 9 out of 10. It was pretty good. You really I'll sold the role. I'll give yours a 6, but improve that next time. How about that? What the just, hell? You just need some work. Okay. You know, just get to the level that I'm at. But I'm excited for this episode today. Me too, Zach. Uh, we have two new guests. The first one that we have is we have Christina with us. Christina, can you say hi to everybody? Hello, everybody. Awesome. That is Christina. Christina, and we also have Maria with us. Maria, can you say hi? Hey, guys. Perfect. So, Christina and Maria. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how are you guys feeling today? Um, very energetic. Very energetic. Very hype. That's Happy to be to here. Uh, Maria, let's say if you ran the world, what's one thing you'd change? Um, poverty. Like, hunger. I'd make oh. sure, like, everyone, like, has food. That's really kind of you. We have a, yeah. yeah. A good really humanitarian good answer. <laughs> like a different, I don't know, different answer or something. No, that's a no, great that's a dope answer. Okay. And Christina, what would you change if you ran the world? Um, definitely misogyny, Kate. <laughs> that would be my go-to. Um, shout out to my misogynistic man, Edwin. That was directly directed at you. Yes, she's not talking about anybody else. It's you, Edwin. Fuck okay? you, Edwin. We're all against you on this episode. <laughs> she would change you yeah. if she ran the world. How does it feel? Send him to fucking purgatory. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Um, are you guys ready to hear the confession? Yes. yes. Yeah. So yes. excited. Oh, my gosh. There's this guy in engineering who tried to hit on me, but ugh, he also hits on, like, every other girl. But he's like, he was really smart. Do you think I should like get to know him better? So oh, I have oh. yikes, sweetie. <laughs> okay, oh, Christina is ready to go. You give your initial thoughts. Um, we'll move to Maria after. First of all, really an eng boy. Um, trust me, I have been down that route. All of my exes are eng boys, and I'm just trying to say, stay away. I know they're cute, I know they're smart, and they're just like so charming because of their big brain. But no, he will not make time for you because all that matters is his course load. Don't do it. Okay, a very passionate first opinion from Christina. Maria, what do you what do you say to this dino? What are your thoughts? Honestly, totally agree. Um, definitely don't go down that road. But like, honestly, just get to know him and then see where it goes. You know, like maybe it could be just good friends. Why do you guys hate Eng kids so much? You know, I, I don't hate Eng kids. Sounded like you did. Eng dating Eng boys is different than being friends with Eng kids. I most of my friends are in engineering. I love them, think they're super smart, and admire their passion. However, Eng boys will just prioritize everything else and then put you at the bottom of his list. Trust me, my ex literally gave me a list of his priorities, and I was at the bottom. Oh, shit. God damn. That is so disrespectful. <laughs> kind of I mean, at least really he's honest, honest yeah. though. I know, but there's a reason we're not together anymore. <laughs> okay, Maria, what, what do you have to say? Like, do you have any distaste for Eng kids? I mean, I'm kind of like in between. I feel like... Wait till they graduate, everybody. And then, and then they'll have scarves. some... Then they'll have scarves, then their money, <laughs> their, you know? If the kind of end boy you're looking today is wearing a scarf, don't. <laughs> don't. Um, so more about campus dating. Um, we're wondering, in your guys' opinion, should UFC have its own dating app for its students? Maria is already showing a passionate answer. Absolutely not. Why okay. not? No, the thing is, is just like seeing them again after the fact. This is so awkward and embarrassing. And then just like seeing them in school on campus, just a big no. So I just feel like, you know, like I'd rather like date like from MRU or say as opposed to just seeing the guy again on campus. But that's just me. Christina? Really? Um, I mean, I guess we already have Tinder. And Would you want an even more exclusive I mean, UFC type thing? I do like 
uh, also matching with MRU students. However, I feel like as a U of C student, I want someone that's also educated. <gasps> Don't kill me. I love it. Sorry, I missed that what she said. So she's ruling out MRU as being educated. No. That's what I just said. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, I'm no, with no. you on that. That is how I took that. <laughs> I swear, dating? No, I didn't mean it like that at all. However, I want someone that's also doing an okay. undergrad. Oh, so that's you know why you I don't mean? mind MRU. Then. Yeah, don't okay. mind MRU. Only just for hookups, but not for dating. <laughs> just mentally like, exhausting we'll talking we'll about We'll see. Okay. Um, so what... If there was hypothetically a dating app for UFC, what do you think it would be called? Or like, what would a correct name be for it, in your opinion? Horny and depressed. <laughs> Horny and depressed, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, but don't let Edwin on that app, please. <laughs> Edwin's blocked from that app. That would be destructive. <laughs> destructive, for sure. Um, okay, and on the app Horny and Depressed, would there be any unique requirements for what to include on your profile? Like... Would you have to disclose your faculty, your GPA? Faculty, hundred yes. percent. Faculty, absolutely. You know GPA, what? GPA no. no. Is there a faculty you won't date? Oh, I mean, other than N. Like, let's say you're swiping on horny yeah. and depressed, and you come across uh, sociology. I feel like just Fuck like no. education. <laughs> oh, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> like just like a straight up art. Sorry, just straight up art. You know what I mean? Like they. What are you doing with that? What is the reason? Yeah. Do you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let them know, man. Do Sorry, something better with your life. Disclose why you chose arts. <laughs> yeah, no, I would. That would be my first question. Why an art major? Oh, so maybe that's like one of the requirements on the app. Yeah. Is like why you chose your degree kind oh, of thing. Oh, that could be interesting. Because yeah. what if they like actually do have like a career plan, like with like let's say they're in drama or theater, right? What if that's like, yeah, I already have my show like coming to Broadway or whatever, then it's like, okay, that's reason, you know, maybe if they can justify. Um, so without this hypothetical app, how would you describe dating at U of C like as it is currently? Difficult non-existent um you said all your exes were from eng yeah <laughs> you're probably really active in this ufc dating area i how did you meet don't them? get me wrong uh so my first one we were childhood friends okay. um, that's cute don't do that <laughs> don't ever do that keep the friendship Why? value the friendship because after you date if you don't get married it's always then different. You are trying to go back to being friends, and it's so hard, and it's not. Are worth you friends the with this person? Yeah, we are friends now, actually. Is he going to listen to this episode? Uh, probably not. Okay. Yeah. I'll send it to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is I'll, what she said about you. <laughs> I'll direct message it to him. Oh, God. Interesting. And Maria, what about you? Um, I would describe it as clashing. I feel like it never goes smoothly. It's just like, I don't know. Everyone's That's like at their word. different, like, plan agenda just like it just doesn't work unless i don't know yeah let's say i was just like happened to be on tinder like during a little time where i needed a confidence boost yeah. like no real i know that's what edwin said girls only go on tinder for a confidence he boost. did say that agree edwin? or disagree so agree to a certain extent yes. because you're still trying to meet people right mm -hmm. however i think edwin was just a little butthurt because he probably sends girls messages and they don't respond Oh, he definitely does. Do you have, if you were to like, let's say improv is messy. I have a foolproof plan and it's worked for all of my guy friends that have matched with a girl. Let's they hear it. always get a response. Even if it's just like two words, they always respond. Zach is intrigued. I'm so intrigued. So what I you have to do is a girl is on Tinder or whatever. Everyone is on here for an ego boost. So you know what you have to do? You have to boost her ego. You have to tell her, Oh my God, you're so gorgeous. And if she has a gym photo that's and awful. you're at the gym too, like that's incredible. But don't you know like, a clever think so. pickup line? Yeah, yeah. Not I swear. How are all your guy friends getting that response? Because Always. it's such a like blanket statement. Like but it'd be kind of generic to get, oh, you're so gorgeous. Do you not get like piles of them in your No, thing? the word you have to say is stunning. That's very like, cause it's sound? respectful and it's also like, I am in awe kind of thing, right? Yeah. Does you want the guy sound? to be in awe. Doesn't that sound kind of like gay? <laughs> <laughs> like you might be like playing for the other team if you use the term like no, stunning. I, oh my gosh, you're so stunning. Or something like that, no? No, you just go, the you are stunning. Of stunning. <laughs> you are stunning. Or just honestly, I've gotten just stunning. 
And I've gone on dates with them. But then how do you not know that he does that with every other girl? He probably does. Like, that's why you want the clever pickup line. So it's like, but it's you know, he uses you. that clever pickup line with every other girl as well. That's right? true. To copy and paste. Maria, do you have any <laughs> clever pickup lines in your mind that you've received or anything that you could reference? It's like, are you sign or coast to say like, are you top or bottom? Oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's, that's a, a clap right there. That's that's, a, no, it just, like, it always gets with the nerdy kids. They're like, oh, I never thought about it that way. And it just, like, always gets them impressed. That's pretty good. That's so, so good. Because it also shows they're educated. <laughs> Christina's, like, all over that. Yeah. I mean, a math boy? Yes, please. If a math major were to say that to you, it's I mean, happening. I would definitely laugh. So, uh, which faculties do you think is the most... Promiscuous, well, like uh, yeah, like sneaky. Maria, what are you thinking? I'm thinking Kines and business. Definitely. Why Kines? I agree with you. Kines is all about the body. Uh, yeah, it's it's so exactly. hot. <laughs> they're always like training and like athletic. So might as well. You think they're all fit? <laughs> Would you date a Kines person? Absolutely. Hundred oh. percent. Sounds like you're pretty excited about Kines person. Any Kines people out there looking to date Maria? Hit her up. Um, and you also said business. What puts in your mind business kids being? I don't know. I just feel like business because like they have so much free time. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just fucking doing fuck all. Shots fired. <laughs> We're literally just yeah. coloring your <laughs> coloring books. Yeah, my assignment coloring. Yeah. If none of it's pissing you off. Just hit up the person beside you. <laughs> my wow. God. Wow, you with these shots. I respect. I mean, that. yeah. No, I'm curious. Um, I like ask my friends this, but like everyone defines love like their own way. How would you guys define like love? Holy, that's a loaded question. Yeah, Z she prepped us. That yeah, good yeah good answer. <laughs> um, Zach, do you wanna? Start oh, how it do off? I define love? Yeah, uh, laughter. Oh, oh wow. yeah, yes, that was Zach. the first thing I thought of. I, wait, could you elaborate? What do you mean? Uh, I think someone that I can like laugh with is like a key thing for me. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's like a huge thing. If, if I can laugh with a person, um, it just like makes my day. And if like she can laugh at my jokes and, I, and she can make me laugh, I think that's like a huge thing. So yeah, laughter is key for me. What do you guys think? Um, I think love rooted in friendship is kind of like what I think true love is to be. It's like you got to be friends before anything. And like, I feel like that's just like the way you can get the most fulfillment out of a relationship. So kind of like Zach, we laugh together. We yeah. do new things together. And we also are like, I don't know. We just love each other through yeah. friendship that we have. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lots of love. Lots um, of love. No, I definitely agree. Like I want my person to be my best friend. Um, it's, for me, it, everyone has like their main love language. So for me, I think love is expressing love for them the way that they understand it and them expressing love for me the way that I understand it. Like I want quality time with a person, being able to just watch movies together. Right. The friendship first thing, right? Like be comfortable around yes. each other, not be like you're with your part like your partner you're with your best friend right um and what do you think maria as the poser of the question no it's because i like really thought about this but i think love is um being like amazed on like how i think oh okay, wait can you talk about a bit more yeah so like i guess like kind of like how i solve problems how i think just like really like i guess like loving how someone thinks Cool. That just like takes everything else out of it. And it's just like you fall in love with like their brain. Like their The Whoa. edge kid's coming back. <laughs> yeah, you know? literally. Yeah. And I think oh on that note, we can conclude the episode. Yeah, those were some long. great questions posed by Maria. Love. This is a lovely episode. Aww. But do you guys want to say something to the campus, something short and sweet before you guys head out? It is better to be alone than to be with bad company. That's what's up. Beautifully said. Maria. Um, mine will be enjoy the process. Oh my God. Fucking Instagram captions right there. <laughs> Seriously. Holy shit. Oh my God. That gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Holy. And thank you so much, Zach yeah, and Kate, thank you for, for having, having us. Me. Of course. It was a pleasure to have both of you on. I think some dinos are going to find wisdom in what you guys have said today. I hope so. And do you want to walk us out, Kate? Yeah. Thank you to everybody for listening. Um, make sure you like and share this episode with your friends. And hopefully you'll be hearing our voices very soon in another episode. Yeah. Do you guys want to say bye together? Um, yeah. Three, two, yeah. one. Bye. bye.